Welcome to the Daily Habit channel, where we bring you the most comprehensive horoscope predictions and tarot card readings for the day. This is your horoscope for February 1st, 2020, Saturday, for love, for wealth, and for welfare. Always remember, these horoscope predictions and tarot card readings are just here to guide you for the day. It is still up to us to make our own decisions. No matter what fate gives us, it is up to us to make our own destiny. You make your own destiny. Let us manifest now for our friend Aries, the King of Wands. Aries, if you have a fear of fire, you can equip your home with a fire alarm and sprinkler system. But what if the system malfunctions? There's always something you can choose to worry about no matter how irrational a fear may be and no matter how well prepared you are. If you choose to dwell on something upsetting or if you are experiencing fearful thoughts, you have to banish them from your mind and not allow them to enter back in. As long as you prepare yourself as well as you possibly can, there is nothing more you can do but think happy thoughts. Let us manifest now for our friend Taurus. The fourth major arcana, the Emperor. Taurus, it may feel as though something that you want to change in your life is anchored down and impossible to move. But that may be more of a perception than reality. And where do our perceptions come from, Taurus? They come from negative thinking. You have the power to change something that you want to change, but to do so, you will have to recognize and act on that power. So, no more thoughts about being stuck. No more thoughts about being powerless. Perception is reality, so all you really have to do is change your perception. Let us manifest now for our friend Gemini. The 20th Major Arcana, Judgment. Gemini, there is so much unfolding for you now that is positive. There are opportunities coming your way that will be very appealing to you, Gemini. But will you spend this time in a state of eager anticipation? Or will you spend your time worrying about every trivial matter that comes along in the form of small possibility. The way you choose to see your life and the gifts the universe is sending your way will have a direct impact on what happens next. Choose to see how lucky you are instead of dwelling on insignificant matters. Let us manifest now for our friend Cancer. The Two of Cups Cancer, your head and your heart may be in a tug of war now over a matter that you are considering. This may have something to do with helping someone out, which is always a good thing, as long as the timing is right for you and it is not harmful to you in any way. But is the timing right and could your life experience a negative impact from taking this on? If you are already overwhelmed, it may be wise to pass on this chance and do something at a better time. 
Don't let your heart overpower your reasoning. Let us manifest now for our friend Leo. The Seven of Swords. Leo, when you are open-hearted, you can be taken advantage of. When you are a generous person, as you are by nature, there are people out there who will use that tendency against you for personal gain. But then again, being overly suspicious is not a good thing either. If you have concerns of this kind now about helping someone out, you need to trust yourself to make the right decision. You are smart enough to sniff out deception and you are assertive enough to know when to draw the line and uphold it. Let us manifest now for our friend Virgo. The 18th Major Arcana, the Moon. Virgo, when you need to present an idea for approval or to win allies, you need to present it with flair, even though you yourself know that it is really a good idea. You may believe, Virgo, that the facts will be enough because they speak for themselves. But in reality, a dog and a pony show can really help. So, don't be afraid to be dramatic or go to great lengths to demonstrate your claims and ideas. Show your passion and your enthusiasm and others will believe in you too. Let us manifest now for a friend Libra. The number zero in the major arcana, the fool. Libra, everyone wants to have experiences that have happy endings. But happy endings, after all, just signify the end of something. And a happy ending of any kind comes after a lot of positive work to get to that part. If you are now hoping for a happy conclusion in some area of your life or with a particular venture, Libra, then remember that you are creating whatever ending you wind up with at this very moment. Happy endings don't just happen, they are made. Keep that in mind today. Let us manifest now for a friend Scorpio. The Queen of Swords. Scorpio, have you ever looked at a map in a shopping mall that showed where all the stores were located? There might be an X on the spot on the map that says you are here. That is to let you know how to proceed from where you are standing. Clarity is important in any kind of journey, Scorpio. Take some time today to assess where you stand with a certain matter. Once you are clear and sure about where you are, you will know where to go from there. Let us manifest now for our friend Sagittarius. The Six of Swords.
Sagittarius, when there is something that you really need to say, but you push it back inside and resist saying it, it can start knowing at you. The more you do it, the more fierce the need to speak up can become. Then, when you become really frustrated, you may burst out with it, saying it in the wrong way out of frustration. If you are holding something in now, Sagittarius, you need to let it out. Just be sure to do so with a plan on exactly what you want to say and how you wish to say it. That's the way to gain control of your thoughts rather than being controlled by them instead. Let us manifest now for our friend Capricorn. The Five of Wands. Capricorn, you can certainly make a strong impression on someone by being critical and harsh. However, Capricorn, it may not be the impression you were hoping to make. You may be upset over something and you may feel that the only way to set things right is to make a powerful impression on someone. But the most powerful impression you can make should be done with a blend of strength and kindness. Be honest about what you are feeling but also be compassionate as you get your point across. Let us manifest now for a friend, Aquarius. The 21st Major Arcana, The World. Aquarius, you may be questioning the value of a certain friendship in your life. You may have certainly experienced a few trials with someone who seems to be followed by trouble. Perhaps this person turns to you only when things are going wrong and when you have had enough. But it may be that you are thought of as so wise and so intelligent that you are sought out whenever things seem impossible, and in a way, that's a compliment. Before you give up on a friendship, Aquarius, express how you feel. Let it be known that more positive exchanges would be valued and you may see things turn around. Let us manifest now for our friend Pisces. The Five of Cups. Pisces, you may be tired of waiting for your ship to come in in some area of your life. But if a payoff does not appear to be coming immediately, then why are you wasting your time waiting on the dock? There are many other important things going on in your life if you look around. You may need to pursue some other interests or goals while you wait for this one to bear fruit. That way, you can always have something interesting going on and something to look forward to. And you can use some time more productively. Always remember, these horoscope predictions and tarot card readings are just here to guide you for the day. It is still up to us to make our own decisions. No matter what fate gives us, it is up to us to make our own destiny. You make your own destiny. 
And as always, thank you so much for your continued support to our videos and channels. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to always get updated with our newest videos. Again, thank you so much.